So I got involved with the uh, Asian American Donor Program um, after my best friend in college uh, was diagnosed with leukemia. And at the time, they, they said that his condition would be terminal unless he found a bone marrow donor. And it turned out that uh, there are so few Asian Americans who registered to become bone marrow donors that his chances of finding a match were less than 1 in 10,000. So we ran a bunch of bone marrow drives, but we couldn't find him a match, and so he passed away. And ever since then, I've been very active in trying to recruit more minority bone marrow donors to help people out there in need right now. Now, what is the best adventure you've ever participated in? Uh, describe the experience. You know, I, I, I've done a lot of interesting things, but I, I'd say the best adventure has really been filming America Revealed. Um, you know, a lot of people think it would be Survivor, but Survivor was a, a really interesting experience, and, I, and I'm obviously glad I won. But it didn't scare me like filming America Revealed did, because uh, the thing is, I'm, I'm actually really scared of heights. And uh, the, the tallest thing I had to climb on Survivor was a coconut tree. But on America Revealed, I mean, they had me jumping out of airplanes and flying in a microlide over Shasta Dam and rappelling down the blade of a 300-foot wind turbine. So I got to say, that was a lot more challenging than anything I've ever done in my life. What is the biggest lesson you've learned in life? The biggest lesson I learned in life, I think, is, um, at least for me, like, you constantly have to challenge yourself. You know, when, when I was a kid, I, I had a lot of social anxiety disorders. I had a lisp. Um, I didn't have any confidence in myself. And it wasn't until I started really trying to push myself out of my shell and out of my comfort zone every single day that I was able to start really changing myself and ultimately to become someone um, I could look at myself in the mirror and, and be proud of. Um, so I think for me that's the biggest lesson in life, that everyone can change, but you just have to really put your mind to it. Who has been your biggest inspiration in your life and why? Biggest inspiration in my life? Um, I've had a lot of role models, but I, I guess my biggest personal inspiration is probably my older brother. Um, he's someone that I've always looked to as kind of a role model and someone who was able to change himself from, from somebody who had been bullied a lot when he was a kid and just really didn't have a lot of self-confidence into someone that I really looked up to. Right, and then my last question is, with the shows America's Got Talent uh, being a huge success, do you have any hidden talents that people don't know about or didn't <laughs> see on Survivor? Well, I'm good at chopping coconuts with my thighs and uh, doing some, you know. <laughs> Did you really like that? Did you really like, I, I had a chance to go on a cruise. That sounds like a big deal compared to Survivor. But uh, I, I had a chance to drink that stuff. I didn't like the coconut juice. Well, the you problem know, with the coconut juice, I mean, so the problem when I played Survivor was, you know, they, they gave us a map to the water well on our island, but we lost the map, so we had no idea where the water was. So the only thing we had to drink was coconut milk. And it turns out that if you drink too much coconut milk, if it's too young, it becomes a laxative, right? So we were drinking coconut <laughs> juice, running to the bathroom every five minutes, and we got completely dehydrated. So to this day, I can't stand the smell of coconuts. So what is your biggest talent, though? What would you say? I think my biggest talent is um, I think I'm good at, at uh, empathizing with people. You know, I, I think it's something that helped me on Survivor and helped me over the course of my life. But I think because I know what it's like to feel on the outside, it's really helped me understand when other people are feeling uncomfortable. And so I think because I'm good at putting myself in their shoes and get inside their skin, it really helps me understand people. Well, thank you for being on uh, the Rose Hollywood Report. Well, thank you so much for having me on the show. I appreciate it.